And me and my son sat down in the living room and just had a talk as two men. I always be worried about where my son is at. I always worried about him. So we sat down and some people need to talk. I said, all right, daddy. So we're gonna tell him men, but I, let me tell you how some of your friends gonna leave this world after you get out of high school. Some gonna go to prison, some gonna get on drugs, some become dope dealers. I, I get the whole scenarios about what could, what gonna happen to some of your friends. And he looked at me and said, Dad, I already know, I got it. I got it. And I, I looked at him and said, you know what, my son, he got it. My son, got, he made it. Until I got that phone call. My brother was killed back in 93 of March. He was also shot. That was hard. Then I had my nephew killed in May of 2008 on the Southwest side. That was hard. But hard was to watch my son laying in a casket that I knew my son was never coming back. And they always say that you're supposed to bury your parents and I had to turn around and bury my son. People say you'll heal, you'll recover. No. To lose my child, I will never, ever recover from this. I will never stop thinking about my child. It's by the grace of God that wakes me up each day to move, to get up. It's some days that I lay in my bed that I don't much want to move. It's some nights I wake up and I just start crying. I get on the floor and start crying. And my husband had to get up and, and just sit there and console me until I didn't cry that I couldn't cry no more. You cry till your head hurt. And at the same time, your heart is hurt. Hey,